My little advice to my sister Elizabeth Adongo and Robert Tay is that as they are Christians and they have been married in the Lord, I urge them that whatever the circumstances, they should stick to themselves. They should never complain about their issue to anybody outside. They should always in time know that being together is the best thing and forever. And I want to say to them that they should always in time involve God in whatever they do. I'll talk about marriage without tears. That is when you hook to the Holy Spirit each and every day. Make him your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinner. And then my second advice is spicing up what's the marriage. What you guys used to do in the relationship before now you are couples, don't desist from it. Always try to spice up the marriage. Try to bring something new on board. The Bible says that what God has put together, let no man put asunder. So, since it is God that has brought you two together, and I believe it is ordained by Him, whatever it is, I should draw closer to God. Let God be in the middle because He's putting you guys together. So, as you draw closer to Him, you guys draw closer to each other. And in any case, let the Holy Spirit guide you in whatever you do. We are not perfect. She's not perfect. You are not perfect. But together, you are good together. They should never bring any third person into their relationship or their marriage. If they have fight problem, 
they can confront an elderly person for advice, but they shouldn't bring friends into their marriage. I hope so, on this your special day. Me as a back open a lizzie mechanics and found coming poppy da. Hey, from an anopa, from an area, from an enumerate, from an anodu de sum. Started a mechatron and no pet because the little mamma bear my carbon tenor. So don't be coming and open a meeting a catch up.